Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Wendy Devereaux here. I'm going to make this vanity tray today. So if you'd like to see how I do it, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so um, I've got some of the items out here that I'm going to use. I don't have everything out. Uh, and I'm gonna give a complete list in my description box below. And as I go along, I'll just point out the things that I'm using. Otherwise, it's just going to take too long to go through them. The first thing we're going to do is build our base. Now, for this particular um, vanity tray, I want to put this really nice um, strand of rhinestones in the middle. So I'm going to place it in between my mirrors before I mark off where I need to cut my foam board. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this out with a pen. And I'm going to do this with um, three foam boards so that it is going to be three foam boards thick and that's going to um, make my apron and a base for my mirrors. So I'm going to cut out three of these and I'm going to do this out in my garage on my workbench because I don't want to do it on here otherwise it's going to cut it. So I'm just going to use a nice sharp box cutter um, and then that will maintain a nice clean cut and this one works really well it just cuts through it like a like butter so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then what we're going to do is glue all three of these pieces together with um, because it's light uh, you don't need a heavy glue. Um, I'm just going to use like an Elmer's glue. I, I've got a, um, a variety of it in there. And then I'm going to glue them together. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to glue them together. And then I will come back and then we will um, go to the next step. Now that our base is dry, we're going to uh, finish the underside with um, well, what I'm going to use is this adhesive metallic roll that I found at the dollar store. It's very pretty. I love it. Um, it was $3 uh, here in Canada for a whole roll of it. And the toughest part, in my opinion, using this is that it wants to keep the rolling back shut on this. So you're going to want to just place a few heavy items on three three of your corners so now what you want to do when you're marking this out is press firmly and then that way when you turn it around to cut it out you're going to see an indent from the line that you've made Okay, our adhesive backing is all cut and we're just gonna set this aside for now because we're not going to apply it um, until a little later on. You're going to need five little blocks because you can't put the feet right on this foam board uh, because they'll sink into the foam over time from the weight of the mirrors and whatever you put on them, right? So what we're going to do is first we're going to mark the center because I'm going to have one on each corner and then one in the middle. So I'm just going to eyeball here for now. That's, I would say that's about center. Uh, in my case, it's one, one foot. So we're going to just mark, make a little mark here, at the six inch mark then this is two feet and a teeny weeny bit 
<laughs> I, I don't like measuring things. Okay, so, oh, actually, I'm right bang on there. And I guess before we do the blocks, we are going to have to um, apply our mirrors. Because when I cut into that foam with the block, or for the block, I need to be able to hit the back of the mirror. So let's just, and I just noticed that I've got a little bit of a crack in this mirror, but I think once I put everything on there, it, um, it'll be hardly noticeable. So we wanna make sure, for sure, for sure, that in my case, I want this in the middle. So I want to make darn sure that these mirrors are lined up properly. I'm wondering maybe, 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 maybe I should. You know what? I'm going to glue this in the middle first because it has to be in the middle. Because if I'm off by a little bit with these mirrors, um, that's not gonna fit properly. So I'm going to just remove that ever so slightly, or carefully so I don't move my mirrors. And I'm going to Measure, oh, that's perfect. Oh, look at that, yes. Okay, so I need to cut that right in there. Uh, I'm gonna try first with these. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Um, let's make sure, let's make sure I'm cutting that in the same spot so it'll be Right there. I love going to Walmart and, the, and even the Dollar Tree and uh, picking up um, jewelry because uh, you can find some really nice stuff that you can use for projects like these. Okay, so that is going to fit right there. Yes. Okay, let's just double check. And now I've got uh, Gorilla Glue in here. I love Gorilla Glue. It, um, it has a really nice strong bond. And I'm just going to put a little dab right there to start this. Oops. Slippery in that. There we go. Um, and these I'm going to uh, for sure put some. E6000. for its recommended time, whichever kind that you're using, right? And usually E6000 is 24 hours um, and you've got a really good hold on it. So wish me luck when I turn this puppy around. Yeah, okay, we're good.
Okay, so back to our little feet. Um, these blocks, they came from Walmart uh, and they're the perfect height um, so that when I, when I put them into the foam board, they're gonna sit up so that I have my whole uh, knob showing here, because I really like that, right? I don't want it sunk in. So now we've measured this. I'm gonna say that uh, that's, that's, that's good enough. That's pretty close to the center. I'm going to mark out my little block here. It doesn't look very straight. <laughs> it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I will just eyeball. Um, I'm going to place this probably, yeah, I think that's a good placement there. And then I get to see my feet without them over, like I don't want them hanging over the uh, edges. And I'll just bring it in just a tad, just to be safe. And try to get it as um, even from this, these two distances, right? Okay. And then I'll go ahead and do the same um, for all the others. Now we're going to grab a cutting tool. And I'm going to cut down to the mirror because the mirror is going to stop the block from going any further. hit my mirror, which is what I want. If you just cut it and put a little X in the middle, you should be able to dig that out. So before we put these blocks in though, and I got a little carried away, I should not have stuck this block in the middle, but I did, but that's okay. Um, and you'll see why in the minute that, uh, I want to put um, the backing on before I put the little uh, blocks. going to cut a little X out here and then this will flap make little flaps and then they're going to be glued in so that there won't be any lift Okay. Okay, let's glue these little jaspers in. So I'm just going to put some glue, hot glue, around the sides of my block and underneath. Ouch, that's hot. And just stick that in. I'm gonna get quite a bit in there because I don't want these moving. I can never work with a glue gun without burning, burning my fingers. So 
little bit down. Let me just clean that up. Now we are going to put our little feet on and then the underside will be, oh no, I may put a little bit of bling wrap around it. The underside will almost be done. And then we can uh, start putting some cool stuff um, on the front. So you're gonna wanna use uh, E6000 and you know what? I think I might just put a little dab and then while it's setting. Um, I also have my hot glue gun. And I don't want to burn my fingers again. I better do that with my right hand. Um, and you want to get that on your center. Make sure that it as long as it's on the block, um, but also you want to make sure that um, you're fairly even there. Oh, this is shaping up really nice. And put you a little bit on. You don't really need a lot of 36,000. That's, that's pretty good stuff. I'll put less on that one. I didn't need that much glue. Sometimes I get a little carried away with the glue gun. Okay, let's say a little prayer that when I turn this over, it is not going to wobble. And if it wobbles, don't judge me. Uh-oh. What's going on here? I'm taking that one off. That's the culprit. Yeah. Okay. That middle one was the culprit, you guys. Um, but we need we need some support in the middle. So. Okay. I had to change direction. Um, try as I might, I could not get this tray to lay flat or to sit flat when I turned it over. It was wobbly because of this one in the middle. Uh, I have no idea why. Um, so I used, I had some of these um, napkin rings from the dollar store. And I went ahead and glued that on. And now it sits flat. This is flush to the surface so it doesn't wobble because you can see a little bit of this block here. I um, had some of this wrap. Nope, not this one. I'm sorry. Um, I can't find it now. I had some of this wrap, and it must have been off of a wider band of bling wrap. Um, and I went ahead and I added it on the three corners. And what I did, um, because this glue gun is going to burn uh, this stuff if it touches, so I opted to burn my fingers instead. <laughs> um, I started it um, on the inside, and then that way, uh, if you have to um, maneuver it around, MacGyver it, um, it won't be... That noticeable not that it's going to be noticeable anyway you guys because it's on the underside but I just I like finishing everything off it just um, I don't know it just uh, makes it more high-end that way okay and then once this is done then the underside of this tray will be completed Hairs away. Don't stick on that yet. You get out of there. Kind of hard in tight spaces like this. I think I'm, I'm not going to touch that paper, but I am going to 
glue that instead of the, the bling wrap. I think that'll be easier. Yeah, it is easier. So um, it is easier to do that. But like I said, if you're not careful, if that uh, tip of that glue gun touches this um, surface, it's going to burn it. Okay, guys, so for my apron, um, I'm going to use this bling wrap. Um, I've had it for a while, and I think I did pick it up at Dollarama. And um, for the apron of my tray, it is the perfect width for three little squares. I'm going to cut three all the way down, but I'm going to be sure to leave that little piece of string over on, I don't know if you can see that, over on this side as opposed to this side, and then it'll be nice and clean for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that all the way down. Okay, I've got my strip of bling wrap cut and I'm just going to start on the one corner here. And I'm going to start it just below the ridge of that mirror. I don't want it to be on top. Um, of the mirror. So let's just let that set in there. Okay, now rather than um, gluing the back side of the wrap, I'm going to do go along and put a little bead um, along my uh, board here, my foam board. Making sure that I don't go above where that mirror is. And I'm just gonna press down with my popsicle stick here. Again, making sure that that doesn't overlap over my mirror. Now, if you like that look, you can go ahead and do that, of course. Um, but if you're going to do that, just make sure that it's consistent all the way around your mirror. Because you don't want some on it and then some not. You want it to be uh, consistent. Yeah, I've always wanted one of these trays, but um, some of the more elaborate ones are so expensive. And I got to tell you, I was having issues with one of my um, crystal feet. Uh, it did not want to stay on. So um, I had to clean off all the glue from the block and the bottom of the um, doorknob or cabinet knob and reapply it. And um, it still fell off on me. <laughs> so, I <laughs> so I did it one last time 
and I actually put a little bead of hot glue after I put it on. I put a little bead of hot glue around, um, all the way around it, and that seemed to help. So, okay, guys, so I finished putting on the um, apron. And it's looking really, really nice, very sharp. Um, and now I'm going to put a few more embellishments on the top. I decided to uh, go with these. I got these from um, bedazzled.com. They're very pretty. I really like the, per uh, the pearl in there. And I'm gonna put one on either side. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I'm just gonna be putting those on right about there, right in the center. And if you make something like this, like I said, it's, uh, it's yours, make it your own, your style. And also, um, I'm like I'm going with the more uh, conservative look, but with a little bit of bling. Um, but I can add to it later, right? If I find that I want to add some more to it, I can. So that's what that looks like, and I really like that look. And we'll put the second one on here. So, there. Now, the last step to do is to put on the handles. I, um, I went to Home Depot and I found these really beautiful um, cabinet pulls. And um, they were a little bit expensive, but I thought, well, I was going to splurge. And so I did. So um, I went ahead and I marked out, um, I measured out where these needed to be so they're nice and even. I measured and then as a guide for me when I'm putting them on I know that I need to put them on this corner okay okay I think I'm just going to put these handles on um, with the glue gun This is Gorilla Glue in here. I think I'm going to have to do something with that crack there. Um, in fact, I think I have um, I just have a stash of stuff. I have these little um, teardrop crystals. Ooh. 
I think I might be onto something. See, everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to add those on there right now. Let's just try that out. Um, I'm just going to wipe them on my leg, make sure my, <laughs> I don't have any fingerprints on the on the back side of them. Okay, I'm just going to add a little dollop of glue here. And place it like that. Just hold on to that with my finger. Let it set. Like the other one. Oops. A little twirly do with my glue gun there. Looks like that's about even, yeah. I'm thinking maybe I should add one more. Yes, add one more on that center. I have it lifted just a little bit, a little character. Gee, guys, I really like that. Remembering not to pick my tray up by the handles. Okay, what do you think of that? Hmm? Yeah, I bought these mirrors from a lady um, off Marketplace. I buy a lot of stuff off Marketplace. And uh, she was selling a pack of six. They're actually... Um, uh, they were meant... They were in a box and they were meant... Um, to hang them on the wall just as is. And I got a really good deal on them. Uh, I got six of them for $10. And, um, We still have four left. So I love mirrors. Mirrors are just, um, they make everything look glamorous. Like just so pretty. And uh, they're great for do-it-yourself projects. And like I said, there's some brilliant YouTube, um, <coughs> pardon me, people out there. Just fantastic ideas. And I will be putting some of their YouTube channel names in my description box below. Uh, people who I've um, watched a lot. There. Ooh, yeah. Okay, guys, here's the finished look. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I uh, ended up adding three of the teardrop crystals on all four corners. And I'm really glad that I went with the little square um, bling for my apron.
So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and that'll help me um, know that you would like to see more like this. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell and then you'll be notified when I upload all my future videos. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next week when I upload my next video. I think I'm going to maybe embellish some vases for this. Um, something real blingy. <laughs> okay guys, have a great day and I hope to see you next week.